Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we are doing another styling clothes I never wear video. So I've already posted one of these videos before and it actually got like a really good response and I got a lot of advice on how to try to kind of spruce up what I was doing before going into two new items. Wanted to go back and revisit two items that I got the biggest responses for. So these two items are the items that I got the most help with styling. One was this red little top, and then the other is this little slip dress. So I figured we can start with the top and go from there. Okay, so before we get into the ideas, I did just wanna show the item on its own. It's a super cute zip up in the back, tank top, silky thing with this really lovely like pattern all over. It's got princess seams, very cute. So one of the suggestions was something I wanted to do but couldn't do when I was recording, which was put a mesh shirt under this. So here we are with the lacy mesh top underneath. It is just a simple black t-shirt, but I do like how it kind of gives the illusion of a shirt without being the full commitment of a shirt. As you can see, it is a little see-through, but she's cute. And it does look cute with my leggings on. So here I have two black skirts. This is the skirt that I used in the last video, which I think looks cute. It's like not too tight. So I'll put this on first, but I do want to show you what my other black skirt looks like. This is what it looks like with the skirt on. I do still have my leggings on. Just like, let's just pretend these are tight because ideally if it was cold out, this is probably what I would wear and I would probably not wear tights if it was summertime, but this is like a looser kind of skirt. The other skirt I have is tighter and we're gonna put that on now. And then this is what it looks like with a tighter skirt on. I didn't realize how tight this skirt actually is now. I haven't worn it in a while. This I thrifted from, um, I think Savers, maybe four or five years ago now, but it is a LEI skirt with a little slit right here on the left side. But you can also, well, honestly, I wear the skirt incorrectly. The zipper is not meant to be in the back, it's meant to be on the side. So this slit is actually supposed to be on this side and the zipper on my back is supposed to be here. But with this kind of skirt, I feel like you can kind of wear a multitude of ways. I would say that this is definitely much better. The only other way I wanted to show this was with a turtleneck on underneath so I could wear it more appropriately for winter. And here we are with the turtleneck on. This is a super cute way, I think, to also make it like more winter appropriate. I think this with like some jeans would be super cute for like a not super dressed up, more casual way for this to look. So far, I really like what we've done from all the constructive criticism that we've gotten in the last. So the only other suggestion that I got to make this a little bit better was to try a skirt with some sort of lace and detail at the bottom. I don't have that, but what I do have is this dress that I bought from Wet Seal before they went out of business about probably 10 years ago now. And that has a giant chunk of lace on the bottom. This is gonna probably eventually feature in one of my videos because I love this dress, but I don't really know how to wear it. But I'm gonna try to wear it with this and we'll see how it looks. So here is that dress on as a skirt instead. I'm not entirely sure how much I love this because this isn't tucked in. But maybe like with a little zhuzhing, it can look right. I know you can see like straps being pushed up through. I don't hate this though. I think that this is actually doable. And I like how it's like equally as loose as my skirt, but it's got like that extra little detail of the lace at the bottom. So I think that this is also a winner. And now I think we can move on to the slip dress. So I just put on the slip dress with one of the biggest suggestions that I got, which was putting the shirt that I had on underneath. But my black crop top is in the wash. So we'll just pretend with this black turtleneck. Now I do think this makes it more wearable. The only thing is, is the number one comment I got was that this lace is black, but it is actually navy blue. I do think I might try seam ripping this lace off to see if it makes it more wearable because I do like the flowy, like the flowiness of this outfit in general. So actually, before I even put the mesh shirt on underneath, I just wanted to try what I did with the last thing, which was make the dress into a skirt. Now I do think this is wearable. Um, I don't feel like I'm obviously wearing lingerie or pajamas. I think that this could work, honestly. But I do still think a different color top would work better overall than my black. 
But I do think that this is definitely a good choice. And then here it is with the mesh top underneath. I don't think this is bad at all whatsoever. I do think it's still like very casual, but I think it still is reading as lingerie. So I think if I do what the comments suggested, which is to seam rip, rip off most of this lace, I do think I'll like this a lot better. And I think I'm gonna try to do that. I do think I like this though as like a flowy skirt. I think that could be an idea. The next item that I am going to attempt to try to style is this plaid skirt. It is pleated. It definitely needs to be repleated. This was actually, when I originally bought this, this was a maxi skirt to the ground and I shortened it. Figured I could try to come up with a few different ways to style this other than putting on a generic shirt with the skirt. So when I used to work at Ulta, this is typically how I would style this skirt and then give or take wear tights underneath it depending on the weather. This is a top I got from H&M probably, I want to say nine years ago, minimum. And actually when I was thrifting, I found this shirt in another color, but I did not buy it because it's just a color I wouldn't wear. I do like the black version of this because I think the lace sleeves gives it like a little something different, nothing too crazy. And then obviously like this is like nice in the summer because it's like nice and open and I have full range of my arms. I figured how are some ways that I can make this more interesting? And what I'm thinking of is usually just adding layers. So this is what we're starting with as the base. I just have a black tank top layered underneath this white shirt. I got this in my last video. I do like this a lot. I wish I had a different color tank top, like a nude one, so it wasn't so obvious, but that's okay. Now what I'm thinking is we can try to layer a couple different cardigans. So obviously this isn't something that most people would wear all the time. This is my ghost sweater, or ghost cardigan I should say, that I got from Hot Topic mm, in 2021 I think, so three years ago now. So I do think like adding this cardigan does add like another, not just texture, but a different pattern with my ghost print on it. I do think that this is a very cute way to kind of spruce it up a little bit and make it more interesting. But if you don't have a fun cardigan like this, you could do what I'm gonna do next. So this is a cardigan that I thrifted in my last video along with this shirt. And I'm thinking that if I put this on, it would look cute on top. But I'm also thinking what else would be cute, cause see, it's a little tight. So what I'm thinking is I could also do up some of these buttons. So I do think something like this could be really cute as well. So as you can see, I just took the cardigan and I tucked it into my top. Now I do think this is really cute, especially cause you have like the little bow detail showing through. And I think that this is a nice way to kind of dress it up a little bit more for winter. Pretend I have tights on because I really don't feel like struggling to put them on and off again. I'm sweating right now in this. But I do think that this is a fun way to spruce it up. I do want to try two more things with this skirt to see how I like it. So I think another way that could really spruce up this outfit is adding this sweater vest and doing the same thing that we just did with the cardigan. And here we are with the sweater vest on. So I do really think that this is another cute way to style this skirt and I do really like that there's pockets in it because I mean I feel like it's not often women's clothing has pockets. The only other thing I wanted to try which I don't know if I'm going to love as much as I've loved the last other versions of this outfit, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And that is with a colored sweater instead. I don't think it's gonna look as good as the last three versions of this outfit. Here is the same skirt with another top I thrifted in my last video. It is this greenish colored J. Crew sweater. I don't think I like this color combination. I don't think that this greenish color goes well with this. But I did wanna just try it anyways, just to see. Cause I mean, you never know until you try it. But I do think it's safe to say that this sweater skirt combination is not it. Now, finally, our last items is actually a two piece matching set. I thrifted this about three years ago now and it is 100% silk. It is a super long skirt that has like this wrap kind of clip thing. So it looks like this. Now this is a length skirt that I usually will never ever wear. I, uh, I'm not a fan of a super long skirt because I have super long legs. So I feel like these make my legs look even longer and my torso even smaller. But I wanna try to find a way to style not just the skirt, but also the top. Because the top is like this really super cute, like button up with these huge, huge buttons. And I think that this could be cute with the right outfit. So I'm gonna try to do both of these and I guess we'll start with the skirt. So here we are with the skirt. You can't see, but it literally goes to right above 
my ankles. I just don't think this is the right shape item for my body type. I feel very school teacher in a bad way and I don't think I like this skirt in general. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. So far all that I've done is just put it off with a sweater and I'm sweating, I'm dying. This sweater's too warm. I do think the color looks nice together. And I like how the top of this is, and again, it is like this whole wrap situation. I do think the white top is a better choice with this color. So this is all, honestly, all I can really come up with. And I'm thinking that if it was a shorter, and by shorter, I just mean like a here wrap skirt, I do think I would be absolutely obsessed with it. The only thing is, is that this material is 100% silk. So if I am to alter it, I need to make sure that I am positive that that's what I want to do. So let me know, I guess, in the comments below if you think I should just alter this. I think if I altered it, I'd be more obsessed with it. And then I could also adjust some of these princess seams like this one right here that kind of puckers out. So before I put the floral top on, I just wanted to start with this as my base. What I'm thinking is the most wearable way is going to be for me to attempt to French tuck the shirt. And I will be very transparent. The reason why that this is going to be very difficult for me to style is for the fact that I just don't wear a button up short. I also think it is possible that this top could be too big. It's been a while since I've tried it on. It is only a medium. Let's just start the most simple way to style it, which is like this. I almost feel like somebody's chic grandma wearing it like this. I kind of like it like this. And I can't believe I never really thought of just like wearing it open like a little kimono type thing. Cause it's cute, the collar isn't too much. I mean, it's a little old looking, but that's okay. So I guess now what I'm going to attempt to do is my first ever French tuck. So I'm pretty sure now that we are buttoned to do a French tuck, I think only one half of this shirt, does this whole side need to be up maybe? Does this look weird? Am I doing it right? I can't tell. I guess someone can let me know in the comments below if I'm doing this right or not. I feel like I'm not. I do have to say though, this shirt is really comfortable on. Even though it's like a little bit oversized looking, but I think that this could be cuter. I think another way I could try to style it, which is kind of another basic way, and kind of simple. Wait, this is actually kind of cute though. I think this still keeps like that oversized look without it being too much. And honestly, I could probably even. Even that's kind of cute. Not sure how I feel about this. The knot, I think this is wearable. I can't believe I never have really worn this. I feel a little naked like this. I won't lie. Have you ever seen people do <laughs> like an off the shoulder top with a button up? How do they do that? Like, like genuinely, how do you do that without flashing everybody? Because I really feel like I'm about to flash the camera. Is it like, is this lazy looking? I think this could be onto something, but I do think it's gonna keep falling off my shoulders. Just if I go that low, I feel like my top is gonna go flying off. How do people do that? Do I just need to like get like a little pin and just pin it like a little bit above? Like that? Like would that be better? I just think the back looks dumb though when people do this. Let me know what you think in the comments below because I'm genuinely curious how people do this with their tops and make it look cute. Also I think however I just did this, Maybe this is how people do it. And it's not fully off the shoulder, it's just slightly. And that's all I have for you for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe. Maybe leave a comment down below of some other ways I can style these items that you saw in the video. I am always open to suggestions, any sort of criticism, constructive, or if you wanna to try to bully me, that works too. I am always open to comments and listening to what you guys have to say. Please be sure to subscribe, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!